Jace, I w- wanted to ask you another question in regards to just company setups. I've always seen, you know, companies with a trust attached to it, but more than ever, I'm starting to see separate companies and then separate corporate trustees. Mm-hmm. And and I'm just wondering why would that be happening? Why are business owners now um, doing that type of structure instead of just filtering everything through a trust? Maybe some insight around that. Yeah, good question, Marty. The the family trust side of things, which has always been a, a very well used trading structure to trade through a family trust, uh, where a family was running a business. What that would mean though, is that if they had a, a big year of profits, all of that income has to be distributed. So it means, you know, paying tax as high as 45% to a marginal rate for those individuals that were involved in the family trust. Now, a common scenario we're seeing business owners set up is they set up the company as the trading entity. It's a lot of asset protection in a company. You've got the corporate veil, you've got directors and shareholders, but what ends up happening with that company over the last couple of years, the company tax rate's been coming down. So it's gone 30%, 27.5%, 26% this year moving forward. So all of a sudden, there's a bigger incentive to form a company in Australia because the tax rates are coming down. So these companies are, owned, are then owned by the family trust, which means you've got options now. You can leave to, uh, money in the company to pay company tax. And then in future years, the dividends are going to the family trust where you can distribute to family members with franking credits on your dividends. So it starts to create some more flexibility in your tax planning and tax minimization. And then also with companies with multiple business owners, when you're pushing dividends out based on ordinary shares, the family group can then decide, do we want to take that dividend into an individual's hands or should we pass it to a bucket company and park that money for use later on? And going from company to family trust to a bucket company, as long as there's franking credits, there's no extra tax to pay. So you're parking money over here for a rainy day and not paying a dollar of extra tax until you get that money out of the company environment. But it just gives you options. It means you don't have to leave all the money parked inside the trading company, which is obviously a trading company takes risk. It can be sued. And if you've got a big pile of cash sitting in your trading entity, that's up for grabs in the event something goes wrong. So it's working with business owners to make sure we're getting the appropriate amount of money out in the most tax effective way possible, but leaving enough reserves behind to to function as a business day to day. 